All right, that's now a little break. Uh, now then, uh, so server one, server two, both got that set up correctly. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, everything seems to be working, uh, which means we haven't broken anything catastrophically. So let's do uh, SSH into server one and Oh, I paused for a thousand seconds. Oh, and you? Uh, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I could have been awake for longer than that, couldn't I? Also, a thousand seconds is uh, less than ten minutes. Not, yeah, okay. <sighs> I mean, if I if I run it from here, uh, ah, hang on a minute. Uh, no. ah, yes. Mm. You know what I didn't do? I didn't make sure that it was executable. So, in actual fact, uh, actually, won't be too far back. Doesn't say anything happened, so presumably it happened fine. Uh, even though it's not executable. It should be okay. Okay, we'll take it as read that it's okay, but we will take the precaution of making sure that everything in actually pucker and executable uh, right okay so that's a that's a minor modification uh, let's see now then okay so that's that uh, okay we'll leave the rest of it till tomorrow because it requires some quite complicated stuff okay so let's see if we can nail down uh, oh, oh, actually, something we can do. Uh, I, I want to see if we can nail down this uh, this boot issue as well. Um, uh, the problem is the, the update and the upgrade are sort of shifting sands now. So, uh, but before we do, before we try it again, uh, and, and this is the issue with update and upgrade is because they are shifting sands. Unless you're very, very particular about doing your update, listing all the available packages, checking the version IDs and stuff like that. You're going to get these problems where it'll work one minute and then suddenly not work the next or vice versa. Uh, so anyway, uh, 
let's just make sure we've got the salt keys um, being correctly registered um, they won't be being accepted of course because now then you see we're still only getting server one despite the fact that server two is actually built so what the hell is going on and server one's up and running uh, pavement ssh server two what is going on why do we not have server two's case mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> what gives? sideways what do you make of that hmm? what do you make of that do is restart that, uh, that minion and everything's hunky-dory I don't get it uh, what I mean we could stop it from starting <laughs> stop it from starting we can prevent it from starting the minion Before we've done the reload, do you want to come up? Come on, I'm saying, you normally can't so come on. No, I don't want to play with your rope. No, although we are going to quit in a minute because uh, we're getting nowhere fast here. Well, you're the one who got down. Yes, I know you want to play. <laughs> right. Now then, vicious dog. Right, you're not helping. Okay. None of this is helping. None of this is helping. No. Okay. Now then. Now then. Alright, I think we're going to call it a day. Because uh, my brain started to frazzle. Uh, I don't understand why, why that didn't restart properly. Uh, I didn't understand why that didn't restart properly. So, we've got that problem. Uh, now, the other problem is to do with uh, that bloody bootloader so um, uh, let me see uh, we want to sort of exit these two and that one and then we want to edit the uh, oops. Uh, edit the provision server uh, bootstrap script and uh, all right and then uh, all right. And then 
bring up the whole thing again. Definitely got some weird race conditions going on, Kenny, haven't we? Hey? We've got some oddness going on. All right. Oh, you're starting to do that annoying thing again, aren't you? Okay. Right, while we're waiting for that process to run, if we can figure out why uh, the wonderful Hue HD, uh, although it can it claims to be just plug and play on Mac OS, I've plugged, but I'm not playing. Uh, to it, uh, it is fucking useless at the moment. Uh, so let's try. Uh, let me see. Um, see if we can do any kind of diagnosis. Uh, com slash help. Uh, English, yes. Uh, please visit our main support page for the products page. You can download the optimal viewing software for older operating systems here. But hardly older, it's the very newest of the new. Uh, I wonder if there's an issue because of Catalina being psychotic. Mm -hmm. Catalina UHD. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Apple drop support for all classic 32-bit applications, including new animation, functioning, new six or whatever, who knew a major project, and they would use time to plug on live regular disappointing these fab Mac users. Uh wish to continue yeah, we're 1014. That doesn't explain why the 
camera's not working. Uh, it doesn't actually say anything about the camera not working. Uh, Hmm. Okay, not being very helpful. Uh. <laughs> Your animation not helpful. Um, new cameras, here we go. How do I know which version of the new camera I have? Audio from the camera cuts in and out, and I'm not getting I'm not getting anything. Not getting it's not appearing as an input device of any description. Uh, here we go. I'm not sure whether there's a problem with my camera connection. Okay, uh, is that the camera is to launch some system information? Ah, that makes sense. Uh, uh, system information. Uh, and USB, oops, USB. Uh, we've got oopsie daisy uh, no signs at all of a hue HD now it's plugged in Uh, uh, it's plugged into this hub here. Hmm. All right, let's try plugging it straight into my you, Last time I plugged something straight into the back of the computer, it caused, caused havoc. Uh, okay, so let's plug it into the back of the display so it's on the display hub yes yes you're making it more challenging oh no uh, all right let's try it. there we go right little blue lights on uh, Now, uh, display audio, da, 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 Thunderbolt, FaceTime camera. Uh, basically, it's just nothing showing up. Not cool, dude. Can't push it in any more, finally. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Kenny. Diagnosis is not made easier when dogs put their paws on keyboards, you know. Uh, 
Mm. Mm. I don't need that, I need that. And that. Go to the USB and. Oh, there it is. It suddenly appeared. Right, so we've got camera. So let's see whether I can actually get it connected. Oh, look at that, it suddenly started working. Okay. Oh, you lucky people. Right, let's see whether I can actually make it. Oh, look at that. Now, admittedly, we're not exactly getting the whole document because this oh I wonder, ah, actually given the aspect ratio I wonder if I can cheat it's getting a bit crowded on this desk isn't it alright if I put it sideways on like that can I get the document in oh I can certainly get most of it in mm. That doesn't look too bad. Mm, takes a bit of... Okay, okay, okay. And now, if I bring that up to be full size, uh, needs a bit of focusing. Not too shabby. Uh, only problem now is it's on its side. Yeah, you see, we've got we're, we're back to bloody square one again. We've we've got this problem again, and odds on, it's because of that. That's weird, isn't it? So if I do the update as part of the boot script, I get a problem. If I do the update, mind you, it's the update after I've done the first reboot. I mean, that would be messed up if that was the problem, wouldn't it? Really? I mean, it's possible that some... I mean, that's just weird. We do the update based on the system as it was first boot, get a problem. Do the update. I mean, the way to test it. Mm. Oops. Mm. Ah. 
the way to test it is to split uh, to have two shell commands one before and one after uh, okay this is definitely a hack but all I want to do is um, Okay, so the bootstrap, we're going to take out those two lines. Mm. Okay, and we all want to take our provisioner to bootstrap one. And the only thing we want in here is uh, update So, uh, so we're running the bootstrap without the update, then we're doing the reboot, then we're running it with the update, uh, and then we're doing a re another update, uh, another reboot, okay, which is, I mean, obviously not, not the way we're going to leave it. Vagrant. Destroy. Okay, we'll get them up. But we're only, only going to bring server one up. Right, so we're going to do we're going to, oh, but we're only going to bring server one up because that's what I'm really interested in. I'm interested in which reboot it fails on. Right, back to uh, okay. So that camera seems to. Be
Uh, right. extra 20 quid Well, of course, what I could do is just put that slightly higher up. That's the only problem. Mm. So. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I can even probably get it to. Yeah. Okay, it needs a bit of jiggery pokery to get something to stand it on and get it slightly more vertical. But Okay, so you can see, uh, just with a, a, look, a few adjustments, uh, I think that will be fine uh, for drawing quick diagrams. Uh, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I, might not, I might not even bother with adjusting not anymore, because to be perfectly honest, the, the, you know, the paper is going to move around. Uh, I might arrange for a bit more light on it. Uh, other than that, I think that will be fine. Cool. Right. Okay, so that's the document camera sorted out. Uh, now with new and improved audio. <laughs> Uh, so let's bring that. Uh, let me show you the document camera needs to be moved up somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, let's move that up to there. Uh, actually, don't move that. Right. So uh, we've got Workbench Browser. Uh, Mind you, they, they're all, they're, they're, those three are automated, so probably don't need them to be down the list either. Okay, with that and that at the top. Uh, can I just add a divider into the scenes? Hmm. I mean, the answer is I can probably just put a, a scene called dash dash dash. Hey, look at that. Right. Okay. Uh, those three are manual. Those two are... Uh, I suppose those are... All.
Ah, now then. Okay, now it's prompting me. What? What is going on? Oh, of course. It's on the, okay, so if... Now, here we go. The great well, the previous resort of the disk is no longer present. Boom. But if you don't tell me which disk it was, I don't know why that is a problem. So this is evidently after the reboot, because this is now doing the update. But why doesn't it prompt me if I'm interacting directly? Uh, uh, oh, this is really messed up. So if I... Whew, so if I don't do the update and the upgrade, uh, but do do the reboot and then log in, and then, as the super user, just do the update and the upgrade. Everything seems to work fine. Until you reboot the system and then it locks up. If I do the reboot within Vagrant, and then run the update and the upgrade but without uh, uh, with the Debian front end defined as non-interactive then uh, it does the update and the upgrade and locks up fine if I do it without the Debian front end defined I get this prompt uh, which is fine because that, uh, that's what I expect that's the co uh, configuring the Grub PC Okay, and it's telling me the drives are not relevant. What I don't understand is why, if I don't do the update and the upgrade, but do do the reboot, and then I log in and do directly do the update and the upgrade, why aren't I being prompted like this? It's, it's weird. Okay. The long and the short of it is, at the moment, yeah, you have to do the additional step. Uh, so we would have to uh, let's get rid of that uh, extra reboot. So we don't need that reboot now, and we don't need that. And we can remove uh, the provisional bootstrap one. Uh, having said that, ah, that's okay. Okay, so uh, so at the moment that should work fine because we don't uh, have the update and the upgrade in. Uh, the server bootstrap script but what we need to do is uh, in order to get it to update and upgrade we need to do the uh, the grub pc configuration uh, and we need to figure out a way of doing it non-interactively uh, no, I'm not sure. Can, I'm not even sure that's possible. Uh, uh, so, grub PC non interactive. Uh, This is probably related. Uh, 
Mm. Oh, this is from years ago. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. Now that's interesting that he says the fix because depackage options are force conf def force conf old but this is saying precisely that the old configuration was dog shit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, saying it's a non-interactive works fine, but you need to also send it. Right, so we need to the depackage options is going to be needed. Uh, So let's have a look at the package options. Uh, blah 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 actions configure. No, I need options. Here we go. Uh, Force conf. If a conf file has been modified and the version of the package did change, always keep the old version unless conf def is also specified, in which case the default action is preferred. Uh, I suppose if a conf file has been modified and the version of the package did change. Always choose default action. Well, okay. I suppose we could give it a go. I'm not convinced that that's actually a great idea. Oops. But what the fuck? We're in this for shits and giggles, so we do minus Y minus O, uh, and then we need. Uh, do we specify them in quotes? I assume so. Uh, oh no, okay, okay. Uh, so it's D package option equal to uh, minus minus force conf def D package options is equal to uh, minus minus force conf old uh, which is a bit a bit manky but uh, if it fixes the problem I suppose that's a a win. Just test it with server one. It's a bit of a hack, isn't it, Kenny? Yes. Oh, are you bored, mate? No. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a bit warm outside. 
Yeah, it's a bit warm. Come on. I know! I know. You've been very good this afternoon. You've been very good, haven't you? And generally, you've been quite quiet, even if you are a pain sitting on my knees sometimes. Even if you are a bit of a pain sometimes. You've been, you've been, you've been quite good today, haven't you? Hmm? All right. How are we doing? Uh, uh. Dum, 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 dum. It's all very hot and sticky outside, Kenny. Mm. Oh, I, I know you want to go for a walk, but I know you, you'll be too hot. You don't like it when it's hot, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nor do I, for that matter. No, no, nice. Oh, right. Well, today's been a bit mixed fortune, and it? We've learned about the grub bootloader problem. Boot hole. We've learnt that uh, we've got some general weirdness going on. Although I think uh, it's got to be fixed in either the bento box. I mean, that's another thing. I haven't updated the bento box. Hmm. So it might be fixed in there. That's a good point. Because I'm pretty sure that box is out of date. Mm -hmm. So it could be that the basic, the, the base packer might have fixed this problem. Mm -hmm. so they certainly will do in the none too distant future, I'm sure, because they'll have done all the update and the upgrade and garbage. Mm -hmm. Having said that, in this context of automation, it's tempting to say, oh, hello, uh, aren't able to locate package? The package options. What? What is this craziness? Oh, you see, this is what happens when you're not paying attention. Okay. Uh, oops. Come on. Hello. Earth is going on. Right. Uh, what I should have said here is minus O. D package. Uh, fucking asshole. Right. Let's try that again, shall we, Kenny? Mm -hmm. Shall we try that again? Actually, before it gets too far, let's just uh, check something. Mm. Vagrant. Do I just do vagrant boxes? Mm, no, but I can do vagrant box. No. Uh, outdated. Okay, and that should list. Which ones are about? There you go. 2020 05 is up to date. And it looks to me like they are okay. Damn. So they haven't released a new version. They will do shortly. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. In the meantime, we've got to do this kludgy workaround, don't we? Hmm? Once the base box has been fixed, this won't be a problem. Dun, 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 dun. 
Why do you look so sad? Oh, poor Kenny. Mind you, I suppose it's about time for you to poop, isn't it, mate? Mm. Mm. Are you hanging on to a poop? Is that why you look so depressed? Mm. Is that why you look so uncomfortable? Oh, poor Kenny. Right, I'll tell you what, once this is done, success or fail, we'll, we'll call it a day. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Actually, one thing I could be doing is I could be uploading that video. Nah, we'll leave it. Uh. Oh. We had a good long session today, haven't we? Four hours. Crikey, mind you, with a slight intermission. But nevertheless, quite a considerable amount. It's attempting the update, Kenny. Let's see what happens. Uh, we've got all the non-interactiveness set up. Real kicker is what happens when we do the reload. Uh, mind you, it's going to install all the salt stuff yet. Still a fair way to go. Eh? I mean, Oh, nice. That's the best, isn't it? Mm. Not behind the ears. That's the best. Oh. Right, uh, look into a, building a 360 camera in the garden to keep an eye on you, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Since we've discovered that certain people mm -hmm. can dig out under the fence. Mm -hmm. Although I suspect you're chasing a hedgehog when you do. I think the hedgehog does most of the digging. You just followed him, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You little prick. How are we doing? Well, we seem to be getting on. Uh, we've got all oh, out close, salt cloud, salt minion. So we're getting close to. Uh, we're getting close to uh, the grand finale. Mind you, the way things are going, I should update really, shouldn't I? Uh, I should be installing the latest salt really. What's the, what's the latest version? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Docs dot. Uh, docs dot salt. Where are you? 
There we go. And Ooh, oh, a new technical guide. Orchestrating complex patching and system maintenance. Ooh. That's gonna be worth a read. Uh, fill out the form to get access to the guide. Why do they do this? Uh, um, okay, we'll give them uh, Fred Logs Job Title Director Company Not Relevant. Uh, uh, F blocks Look at that, can't even be bothered to close the tag properly. Gah. If you're not going to do it properly, don't do it at all. <laughs> right, anyway, that was a slight side. Mm. Don't bother sending email to that address either, because it will be gone by the time you do. As soon as I've got that email I want, it will be disabled. Mm. Where was I? Uh, yes, I was looking for. Uh, oh, here we go. All execution modules documentation. There we go. Because it, it. There we go. Three thousand one is the latest, and we're getting three thousand dot three. And oh, look, we're we're waiting for the machine to boot. Now then, I'm not holding my breath here because. We're not even getting the output about it waiting for the SSH key. Uh, so I don't think that's fixed our problem. I think we just have to do it manually for now, which is a bit of a drag. Uh, unless. Uh, there's some way of feeding grub PC the ways I want. And there may there may well be. Frankly I just can't be asked to figure it out right now. Uh, uh, I'm sure there I'm sure there are ways of uh, uh, almost certainly ways of feeding decisions down it's just all very annoying and it's it's evidently a, a, a major problem the, it, the, the the question the question really becomes uh, you know do we okay th there's there's two schools of thought thought developing in there one is oh this is just revealing bugs in your system because it's not specified the drives properly well based on what i was seeing there it uh grub was programmed to, to pick up uh, information from the same drive that grub was installed on by default well how can how can that be wrong uh, unless you've suddenly made it so that no it's mandatory that you specify a specific drive but in that case, you've changed the interface to grow, in which case, uh, you, you know, we really ought to be fucking told. Um, so that's, you know, kind of one side of the fence is, is saying, oh, no, 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 your, your configuration was wrong. Wrong. Now, the other side of the fence, and the one that I tend to come down on, is this. If you're making such a radical change where it's breaking so many different systems, um, you know, you really need to account for that. Uh, 
you know, in your package update, even if it's only, you know, the kind of updating from the old version that was causing the problem. You know, if you recognize in a, in a configuration that it says, oh, no, just take the drive you're currently installed on, then why on earth doesn't it say, okay, the drive I'm currently installed on is this drive, I'll make that the new default, if that's the problem. Uh, anyway, it, it looks like this this thing's locked up completely. It's, it's going to do it again. It's going to time out. So I won't bore everybody with waiting for it. Besides which, this little fellow wants to go out, don't you? Right. Uh, on that very frustrating note, uh, the only thing I will make an observation about is uh, we are going to end up taking these two lines out uh, for the time being because they're causing trouble uh, and as I've said before it's debatable whether these should be in vagrant anyway um, there we go it's timed out um, yeah it's debatable whether it's a good idea to do this anyway because as I said you've, you, you've created shifting sands for your vagrant uh, other, uh, under the best of conditions uh, however, right let's uh, destroy the machines because uh, we're going to start from the next session and we'll, we'll, we'll start looking at salt uh, right mind you we still got the apparent timing problem oh well, we'll figure it out